Hello, I'm Lessa Logan, and today we're doing Swan on the Window Chair. So if you know me, you know I love my swans. I love my swans everywhere. Maybe not here. <laughs> I love my swan on the spine corrector more than I love my swan on a window chair. It is a really hard swan for me because at least for my body where I begin, my ribs are just in like excited to fall out. And so it's the like the hardest swan for me, but I still do enjoy it. So on one middle spring, um, you place yourself on the chair and your hands come on the pedal and you want to try to keep your wrists really straight so you don't want to be back here with them you want them come on the front and then you want to have your shoulders over your wrist so you know where the chair lines up on your stomach is different for everybody these legs are reaching long they're not down and they're not up right they're going to want to go up for sure so i'm just kind of reaching them long and then you press into your pedal and find your stomach and then the challenge here is these pumps because you use these pumps to help you pull your stomach in. But when you lose the spring, it's easy to lose your stomach. And then you go into your extension and then you come here and you pump. So for me, it's really hard for me to not already be in extension here. And then right here, it's really going to call to you to get longer rather than going back towards your feet. So you do three pumps and then you do one lift, right? And there are other swans here. So in another video, I'll show you swan dive and single arm swan. But something to practice is, are you lifting your chest up while you're doing the pumping? Or are you using those pumps to help pump yourself into your center and get your shoulders on your back so you can have the longest swan? The one to chair is one of the most challenging pieces of equipment because it has the least amount of support. So if you are struggling with your swan on the mat where you have a ton of support, but not necessarily the most support. I think a baby swan on the Cadillac offers a lot more support. I would really practice doing your swan on the Cadillac where you can feel when you lose your center and press into it before you do your swan here. Just something I would take note of. If you have any questions or comments, please put them below. Subscribe to my channel so you never miss a video from me. And if you're wanting to see how things on the window chair affect your practice, then practice these exercises here and then join me for my weekly online mat classes so you can really take this one and put it into your mat and see how it goes. I will see you next time.